Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Super excited today. I know you can see the smile on my face. I've been detailing cars for over 23 years now, and throughout the decades, I was a witness to a crazy evolution in the car detailing world, especially when we're talking about paint protection. So we had traditional carnauba waxes. We moved on to synthetic paint sealants. In the past five years, one of the most popular forms of paint protection were ceramic coatings, and they were fantastic, but now I I am happy to introduce one of the next evolutions in paint protections, and that is graphene coatings, guys. So this is my first official graphene coating review, and uh, well, I've been testing quite a few of them in the past months, and as I told you, I would only present the ones that will meet my criteria and of course make the cut, and this is one of them. So from Glassparency, as you guys know, if you have been following my channel, Glassparency are the makers of my favorite glass protection, so hydrophobic protection for your glass surfaces. Absolutely insane, I have a full review on that on my channel. But today, we're focusing on this new graphene coating offering. I also have something, well, pretty cool for my viewers, only the pan, the organizer, subscribers, and viewers. So, uh, of course, stay tuned. We're going to show a full demo on a vehicle. I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks on how to properly apply this. We're also going to discuss what graphene coatings are and what their benefits are. Are they truly better than ceramic coatings? Is this the uh, true next best paint protection? Well, of course, you're going to find out you're at the right place. So, without further ado, do stay tuned. Let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan. Welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So let's dig right into it because today I'm presenting the glass parency graphene coating. Uh, this is, as I said, the next evolution or revolution in the paint protection world because while well, this basically takes everything that we loved about ceramic coatings but steps everything up quite a bit. Um, so what are the key features? Of course, don't worry guys. I'll include the links to the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And of course, make sure you stay tuned because I'll be announcing something pretty cool for you guys, my viewers. So let's dig right into it. First of all, let me show you this Glassparency graphene coating bottle. So you can see the, the label in the front. Very well done. So this is a matte black bottle. The uh, of course, label is well done as well. So nice modern graphics, that's pretty cool. But the most important thing obviously is what's inside it. So what is a graphene coating and why is it supposed to be the next greatest thing? Well, essentially it's a 2D layer of carbon atoms. So without geeking out too much into chemistry, uh, basically it's a single sheet of those atoms, also known as graphite. And what they're essentially known for or what they do best, if I can close up here once again, is that they're arranged in a honeycomb pattern and of course it's only one atom thick but they have astonishing traits notably insane hydrophobic properties so the water beating and the water sheeting is nuts of course the vehicle is going to be much easier to clean during maintenance washes because the dirt has less of a tendency to stick on the paint so those are what we call self-cleaning properties so the vehicle stays cleaner for longer and is much easier to maintain very good uv protection built in also so going to protect your paint against oxidation and fading over time Great, great chemical resistance. So uh, whether you have some acidic based chemicals or some, uh, well, alkaline based chemicals, this can resist those. So typically pH two to three, all the way up to a range of uh, pH 13, somewhere in that, uh, in that range. So great chemical resistance. But what they did with this, they had to improve something of ceramic coatings that was its Achilles heels, namely water spotting issues. So the good thing about a graphene coating is that it has one of the properties that is pretty awesome. So why is it less prone to water spotting issues? It's because it has high thermal conductivity. And what that means is that heat is rapidly spread away from the surface thanks to the graphite molecules or hence the graphene mix. And so less a tendency for the heat to stick. So if you have water or you have tree sap on your vehicle or other forms of contamination uh, that can etch 
the clear coat or leave some marks on the clear coat, well, there's much less of a tendency with a graphene coating for that. Uh, we're talking reductions over 50%, depending on which graphene coatings you're testing. Uh, so yeah, much higher resistance to water spotting issues. So that was one of the great things about it. Uh, again, great protection, fantastic gloss on the paint. So basically all the properties that ceramic coatings had, well, this bumps it up a notch. And as you'll see in the demo, the cool thing about this now is you don't really have to worry about working times or flashing times uh, as you did with ceramic coatings because this is pretty simple. They have a longer working time, which means when you're going to apply this, you can spread this on a complete panel. So an entire hood, an entire door or an entire fender before you have start to uh, before you have to wipe it off or, or to level it with a uh, towel. And you're going to see in the demo, this is, I mean, one of the easiest paint protectants that I've applied. And uh, yeah, the durability also. When most consumer ceramic coatings, we're talking about one to two years traditionally of durability. Uh, some have a little more than that, but in, in on average, they have one to two years of protection. This coating here, if you apply two layers, because that's what's recommended, we're looking at five years of protection, guys. This is crazy because now consumers can buy this, so you can get this. And uh, yeah, so if you apply one layer, you're looking at three to four years of protection. But of course, two, year, uh, two layers is what is recommended and you get those five years. What do you get in the kit? Well, you get a 50 mil bottle. So exactly this one, essentially, of the graphene coating. So more than enough to apply two coats on a few vehicles because a little goes a long way. It comes with an eight ounce bottle of Boost. So this is basically the topper that you apply. After you've applied your two coats of the graphene coating, you go ahead and apply a layer of Boost. So this increases the gloss even further and of course adds slickness to the paintwork. And this is gonna serve as your maintenance topper when you do maintenance washes roughly every two to three months. That's what that is what is recommended with this. And in the kit, you also get two microfiber towels. These are edgeless towels, very, very good to use along with the coating. And you get a microfiber applicator pad. So everything you need is inside that kit. And now let's dig into the demo before we go ahead and uh, talk more in depth about how awesome this product is. Let's start and do the demo. Um, I know you're gonna find this pretty awesome. So we have a 2018 black Honda Accord. And uh, yeah, the car needs some help. So let's go ahead and start with the other uh, steps that you're going to need to perform in order to do a good job. So first of all, you have to make sure that the vehicle is completely clean. So we're going to wash the vehicle. What I did is also used a strip wash soap to remove any previous waxes or paint sealants uh, that still might be on the vehicle itself or any previous protection because that's super important. You want your graphene coating to bond directly to virgin clear coat. In this case, uh, the owner had never applied paint protection on the vehicle, so it was quite simple. Uh, and then we moved on to decontamination steps. So the first step was to use an iron remover. So basically to remove any bonded iron particles that come from brake dust and industrial fallout. So that's very important as well. So it's those little rust spots that you see on lighter colored cars. Pretty much all colored vehicles have that, but it's more obvious on lighter colored cars. And so the product turns from transparent to purple or reddish tint when it reacts with those molecules, with the iron particles, and you're ready to rinse all of that off. Then we went ahead and did a clay stage. So I used a clay towel and a clay lubricant to remove any further leftover embedded contaminants in the clear coat. So that's also very important. If you run your fingers in the, especially the bottom parts of the vehicle and you feel a gritty surface, or you feel some contamination that's in the clear coat, it's time to clay the vehicle. So you want the surface as glass smooth as possible. So next, the customer didn't necessarily want a full paint correction, so compound followed by a polish. So what we did in this case was a paint enhancement. Of course, I always recommend that you at least do a one-stage polish with a uh, dual-action uh, machine polisher because you want to exfoliate the paint, further level the surface to make it as true and as flat as possible. And that's how you get the best gloss. You're going to enrich the uh, colors, of course, of your paintwork and also remove any oxidation, swirl marks and scratches that might be in there. So in this case, a one-stage polish really, really brought the gloss, made the paint pop and again exfoliated the rest of the crap that still might be in the clear coat. So we have a nice clear and virgin clear coat. To further make sure we have a squeaky clean paintwork, I went ahead and did an IPA stage, so an isopropyl alcohol mix. So basically a paint prep to remove those polishing oils 
and to uh, free out any other uh, contamination that still might be left over or any residue from the polishing stages. And in that case, well, it makes the paint not only squeaky clean, but it ensures a proper bonding of your paint protectant directly to the clear coat without interference from oils, from the polishes, or other residue that still might be there. So now is the time to apply the graphene coating and it is super, super easy, guys. Uh, well, just a few steps and you can do your entire vehicle. So you're gonna shake the bottle very well. That's important, especially with graphene coatings. You're gonna put a few drops onto the microfiber applicator pad. Then you're going to apply to the panel using a crosshash pattern, meaning up and down and left to right movements. You can do an entire panel so you wait roughly two minutes after you've applied the product and then you start to wipe off the residue using a clean and dry microfiber towel. You move on to the next section and just repeat. So again, very, very easy. A few drops loaded onto the microfiber applicator pad. You apply to the panel in a movement of up and down and left to right. So that's a cross hatch pattern. That's to ensure proper coverage and even coverage. And then you use your secondary clean and dry microfiber towel to wipe off the residue. And uh, there shouldn't be any high spots because this is not as difficult to apply as ceramic coatings. But inspect your work with, uh, if you have something like an LED light maybe, or in a good lighting lighted environment, make sure you look for any high spots. And if there are some, just take your towel and buff that off or level it off, I should say, and uh, you're good to go. Once the entire vehicle is coated, immediately start applying the second layer of graphene coating. So there's no real wait time. So you basically coat your entire vehicle once you go around it, and then you're ready immediately to start applying that second layer. This is what will give you the five years of protection. So that's key guys. And once you're done applying the entire second layer, you can immediately come back and then you apply one coat of the Boost Maintenance Topper Spray. This is gonna enhance slickness, gloss, and accelerate the curing process as well. So let's have a look at the final results, guys. Hopefully you can see this on camera, but it's absolutely insane. So crazy gloss, the slickness is absolutely nuts. I mean, just look at this. Uh, it looks like the paint is wet. It is dripping wet with gloss. Uh, the slickness is through the roof. Uh, I mean, super easy, super, super easy to apply. I don't know how many times I can say super. If you guys had to take a shot every time I say that, you'd be drunk by now. Uh, but again, it's a very dense polymer. So that's the awesome thing of having the 2D layer of carbon atoms in the graphene coatings. They have that high thermal conductivity, so less prone to water etching, water spotting, and things that were an Achilles heel uh, when you had the traditional ceramic coatings. So this has been greatly alleviated now. And I mean, uh, you can apply this also to different surfaces. So uh, paint, glass, plastics, and wheels as well. So you can use this on pretty much everything. You're gonna get those five years of protection. But I mean, look at this, it looks crazy, guys. So the first 250 viewers who are gonna purchase the kit can have the special Pan the Organizer Limited Edition. So this one here is the bottle one out of 250. So I think it's pretty cool. There's the Pan the Organizer logo on this. And uh, I thought it was awesome that uh, Glassparency offered this well, for my viewers and for myself, I think it's pretty cool. So this is not my product, obviously. It's a Glassparency graphene coating, but it was good enough. And when I gave them feedback on their product, I was so enthused that they went ahead and offered something cool for my audience. So yeah, the first 250 people who want to get this, uh, well, we'll get the limited edition Pan the Organizer bottle. I think that's pretty cool. I'm so, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm so happy today uh, to present this. This is freaking amazing. Uh, I know these are going to go pretty quickly. As usually when I release videos on awesome products, the products sell out fast. So uh, you'll, the first 250 people have a, the opportunity to get the Pan the Organizer Edition. If not, well, the bottles are the same, by the way, it's just the logo that changes, but you can get the uh, graphene coating for yourself. So once you're done applying that uh, final layer of boost, so once again, just to make sure, you've applied two layers of the graphene coating. You don't wait between layers, so you do the entire vehicle once, you go right ahead and apply the second layer immediately after the first one. And as soon as you're done with the second coat, you go ahead and start all over with a coat of boost. So the uh, topper to enhance gloss and slickness. And of course, this is also gonna help to accelerate the curing time. So talking about curing time, 
It is very important that you do not expose your vehicle to water or rain for 24 hours. You want to give time to the coating to properly cure on the surface. And then for the next 14 days, so for two weeks, do not wash your vehicle, meaning you're not using any chemicals on it. So that's again to ensure proper curing of the product on the paintwork because this is going to last for up to five years, guys. So make sure you do things right. And believe me, you're going to absolutely enjoy this. Uh, this is nuts. So let me uh, show you again the uh, Pan the Organizer version of this because I'm super excited. So this is bottle one out of 250. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked. So the first 250 people are going to be uh, able to order this if they want to. And again, I'll leave the links in the description to uh, the kit so you guys can check it out for yourselves. But this is the Glassparency Graphene Coating Kit. So again, you get 150 ml bottle. If you're lucky enough, you can get the Pandy Organizer version. If not, you get this one here. They're identical. It's just the labels that change. So you get 150 ml bottle of the uh, graphene coating. You get one 8 ounce bottle of Boost. So this is the maintenance topper, very hydrophobic, also enhances gloss and slickness. You can even use this as a standalone protectant on other vehicles if you want to, uh, but this is really meant to maintain the properties of your graphene coating. So every two to three months after you finished washing and drying your vehicle, apply a layer of this and you'll keep your graphene coating uh, going to peak performance, which is one of the objectives. So just like we were using silica spray sealants on top of ceramic coatings for maintenance washes, now you use this boost for your graphene coating. You get your uh, microfiber applicator pad and you get two of these uh, very easy to use microfiber towels. And when you're done, of course, using them, you have to discard them. Do not keep those towels, guys. Uh, you don't want to scratch paintwork if you reuse them on something else. So I just discard them. They're inexpensive anyways. And uh, yeah, you want to make sure you're safe. So once you're done using them, just discard them. And uh, yeah, you're good to go. So this is pretty awesome. Again, you're going to get all the insane properties of the coating. So less tendencies to have water spotting issues because they're, well, thermally optimal in their design because of that super awesome layer of carbon atoms that dissipate heat a lot quicker. You have less tendencies of having water etching and water spotting or if you have tree sap etching and that kind of stuff. So it digs less into these types of coatings. You get a super awesome glossy surface which is something that everybody loves. By the way, the uh, Glassparency graphene coating is 100% made in the USA. So I know that's important for a lot of my American viewers out there. And you can get this regardless of which country you're in. So this is open for purchase for people anywhere around the world. And I know that's something my viewers insisted on. So again, check the links to the Glassparency graphene kit in the description under the video for you guys to check it out. So uh, yeah, not only is it available to everybody, but I mean, you guys are going to get an awesome experience. This was very easy, easy to apply. I've been testing many graphene coatings throughout the months. My uh, testing procedure is very thorough. So the ones that make the cut, you're going to see videos on my channel. Uh, I'm proud to have this one as my first one because this was an awesome experience. Not everybody, unfortunately, is making quality graphene coatings. So be aware of those. Um, it's the beginning, of course, of that segment and some are getting it right. And in this case, class absolutely did their homework and you guys are going to love it, I am sure. Uh, what else can I say? Yeah, not only was it super easy to apply, but as you can see on camera, when we're talking about hydrophobic properties, this is second to none. So the uh, water contact angles, the uh, sheeting of the water, so how fast the water runs off the panels, making the vehicle a lot uh, quicker to uh, dry when you're doing maintenance washes. And also that super tight, very round water beading uh, visual indicator that you have tremendous paint protection. So before the vehicle was coated, it had no protection and the, the, paint, the water sorry, was very flat on the surface and very slow to sheet off. And once we've protected the paintwork, well, the vehicle is super quick to run off. It's going to be a lot easier to clean during maintenance washes. And it just makes for a more enjoyable detailing experience when you're detailing your vehicle. So uh, yeah, it's been absolutely an awesome ride. A thumbs up, by the way, to Glassparency. And thank you to uh, Ray, Nick, and all the team over at Glassparency for helping to sponsor this video and making all of this possible. If you liked this first graphene review, guys, you have to smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. Uh, by the way, if you ever get to have one of the uh, limited editions, 250 bottles of Pan, the organizer version of the graphene coating,
Let me know by tagging me with a picture on my Instagram page that I'll link also in the description under the video. I always like to see you guys' pictures uh, when you have the results of your vehicle. But uh, yeah, for the lucky ones, we're going to get the Pandy Organizer version. Just let me know. I think that's pretty cool. Again, I'll leave the links to the products in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, of course, click the subscribe button that's found under the video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel and never miss my future videos so you'll continue to learn more about car detailing so products equipment tips tricks and techniques and uh, what else can i say man i was just so happy today <laughs> Graphene coatings, mark my words, this is the future of paint protection and uh, yeah, many more awesome things to come on the channel. Uh, is there anything that you'd want to see me put the uh, graphene coating up against? So a versus maybe against another ceramic coating or any other form of paint protection in a versus video. You guys let me know, drop a comment in the comments under the video. So that's pretty much it. Guys, thanks for being there, thanks for watching and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one.